Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Stamp On It, and this is an instructional, um, inspirational product preview video. And I'm told I have 20 minutes to show you some things to inspire you, to instruct you, and to give a little wow. So let's get started. Today I'm going to talk about our glitter film. Um, and I picked this particular product and, and the techniques because this is a super fun, super easy, super cool product. Um, Sharon, one of our instructor designers, she calls it the go-to product. And it is. It is the product to go to if you just need to make something that's really cool, but also not difficult if you don't want to get into a lot of detail. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about our glitter film and then show you some techniques and some samples, quick samples. I have 20 minutes, so here we go. Glitter film comes in our website and in our booth when we travel, five sheets in a pack. It comes in colors, that's four sheets in a pack. The colors are opaque, even when you peel the backing, because the backing comes off and they, all of the colors and the white are adhesive backed. But the white is unique and is the one that we use the most because it becomes translucent when you peel it. And I will show you that as we work with it. So let's get started here, set that aside. I'm gonna go through the ways to use it. Number one, you can cut it with a scissor, you can cut it with a trimmer, and you can die cut it. One thing I advise if you're die cutting, if you are using a fairly detailed die, you may have a little difficulty getting through it. It is a little bit heavier product. So my advice is stick to a little bit more simpler designs if you're gonna die cut, all right? One of the most popular ways that we use it is with our vintage hues. And I'm gonna start with that one, and then we're gonna move into a bunch of other ways to use it. With our vintage hues, and this is our new slimline vintage hues, um, you can use it as it is out of the package, opaque, and you use it with the white, or you can peel the backing off and use it that way. So I'm gonna start here and just show you some samples. This is one of our newer ones also, where we've used it and attached the glitter film to the backside and then layered it onto the front of our project. You can use this on cards, on projects, in your scrapbooks, whatever you want to apply it to, all right? So I'm going to set this to the side, and I'm going to take one of our, this is our new um, slimline. I'm just going to quickly cut. This particular sheet is a horizontal sheet, and I'm just going to cut this and attach it to the back side to show you. I'm going to take our glitter film sheet and I'm going to just cut approximately the same size piece as what I did with the um, vintage shoe. This is not going to be perfect, but it's going to tell you, show you how to use it, how easy it is to use. Now, this is one of our horizontals so that when I'm done with this, I will be able to take, if I want, a vintage or uh, overlay and be able to frame this just like it is. So I am going to apply the vintage hue to the back side of, or the glitter film, sorry, to the back side of the vintage hue as one piece. So I'm going to work the back or worry the back so that the adhesive is exposed. Hold it with the glitter side up, worry or rub across with your skin and you will catch that adhesive. And that is the hardest part of this whole product is to get that coating to start. Some people get really frustrated with it, but they're really, it's really not difficult. So take it and approximately line it up with your vintage hue, which is laying upside down or dull side up in front of you and simply pull this coating or backer out and rub down. Now, if you get some edges that are hanging over, you can cut those off with your trimmer, your scissors if you want. For example, here, I would probably cut this one off just because sticking way out and beyond my trimming gray trim line. And now I can take this and I can adhere it to the front of my card like that. And I've got some samples to show you here just quickly. Here's a vertical and here's a horizontal of our little hoots line. All right, but that is working with the glitter film attached to the vintage hue. All right, we have lots of different images on our website. Check it out. We've got 
masculine stuff. We've got seaside, There's lots of different um, designs to pick from. So that is one way to use, and probably the most popular that we use it. Here is a couple of samples. And we also have it in kit form this way. So check out our glitter film and vintage hue kits. Again, we have them in different designs. Check that out. It comes with your everything in, in the kit, ready to go. This particular line of kits has stickers in it, makes 12 cards. Instructions. We also have videos on our website of how to work with these products, these kits. All right, setting that aside, moving on. You got to keep moving because there's a lot of ground to cover. Besides our vintage hues, we have a black print line. This is one of our Christmas loop two. And you can use the glitter film on the back side of the vintage or the um, black prints. This particular design is from one of our Christmas kits. Again, it's a 12 card kit, comes with everything you need to make 12 projects, 12 cards. It's working with the glitter film on the back side or with our black prints. Here's some more. Here is one of our images for Easter. Here's a Christmas in case those of you who are getting ready to do Christmas. If I'm gonna do Christmas, I gotta start early. This is our snowman ovals. We just um, added a little color to the back side or the dull side of the acetate before we layered it onto the glitter film, okay? All right, so that's another way to use it. We also have kits with our black prints, so check that out. Comes with, again, everything to make your 12 projects. All right, moving on. The next way I wanna show you is Using the glitter film, because it becomes translucent, using it over top of a stamped image or an image, a printed image. If you're a digi person, you can print your digis. We have 5,000 plus digital images on our website. Print it out, color it, put the glitter film over top. Now, one word I wanna just say, we try not to use a really detailed image because the glitter film has glitter in it. So when you peel it, it becomes translucent, not transparent. You can see my finger through that, but you can also see that it does take away some of the detail. So keep that in mind when you're putting it over top of something. It is gonna cover or mask a little bit of the detail, so we will use it with some more defined or darker images. Here's with our snow bear teacup. Now, that being said, we also have kits. On our website, they're called Cut and Create Glitter Film Kits. They already have the images in them pre-printed, ready for you to work with, instructions, everything to make your 12 cards, including your glitter film, 12 projects in there. All right. And again, we have a video that shows you how to work with these kits on our website as well. All right. That's another way to use the glitter film is over an image. Moving along, you can also use the glitter film in a more just common way and use it over top of just cardstock or paper to enhance it, background papers. Wonderful, wonderful idea. And I'm just gonna show you here on a standard piece of cardstock and I am going to peel or worry my edge again and I'm gonna put this over half of the piece of cardstock just so that you can see the difference that the glitter film makes. And this is also gonna show you how it does mask a little bit of detail when you put it over top. Now, if you get bubbles in there, and I got a cup, well, I really didn't, I pressed them right out. But if you do, take your pokey tool or a needle and just poke, 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 and it'll just pop them, and then you can burnish them out, okay? So now you can see, and I can trim off this here, or I could just fold it around to the back side too. It's really not a problem. So let's just fold that back. Now you can see, I'm gonna hold this so that hopefully the light doesn't glare, but see how beautiful this cardstock has become with the shimmer, enhances all of the color in it, and just really makes it pop. If I hold it up a little bit. Not sure I'm doing it justice, but another way to use the glitter film is over top of papers, card stocks, in your books, your scrap pages, and enhance that background, okay? 
This piece, we actually put it over the cardstock, then ran it through an embossing folder, an embossing machine, and so it in embossed not only the cardstock, but also the glitter film. And then we put stickers over it and colored on it. So that being said, on to our next way to use. And that is with stickers. Awesome, awesome, awesome technique. So first I'm gonna show you some samples. This is with one of our cross stickers over top of the glitter film and added color. Absolutely stunning, beautiful. Here is a silver, this is a black sticker. This is a silver sticker. And again, it really doesn't matter. It's just what look you want to have when you're done. So there is a silver, black. Um, we also have gold on our website. We have a multicolor stickers. Um, so check it out. We've got copper, beautiful things. So here's some samples of two, two kind of two ways. Starts out as one, but it's two. So what we did here is we took a sticker and I don't think my glitter film is quite big enough for this piece. So I will just show you with one of these. And we peeled the sticker and put it onto your glitter film layer. All right. Then come in with your markers. And again, you want to use permanent markers. We're on glitter film. It's a non-porous surface. So you can use permanent. Copics work great for this. Absolutely great. And you can color, and this is really fun because now I don't have to worry about going outside the lines because the sticker holds me in the lines. All right. So I am just going to just very quickly color this. And I want to show you what you can do with this. I'm not going to color the whole thing just for essence of time because my 20 minute timer is ticking. Um, we'll just put a little bit of orange here. This is so fun to color stickers. So, so, so fun. Um, don't judge me on my color choices here. I'm doing this really fast. <laughs> I am not the designer. I am the owner of the company. Yeah. So don't ask me to do a lot of designing. I leave that to the people that are good at it. They really helped me out that way. Now, let's just say we colored that whole thing. Now I could go back, I can leave the sticker on there and I can frame it. And let me just show you like that. I could do that or I can trim it down, whatever I wanna do. But I can also go back and peel that sticker back off. And if you're gonna do this technique, do not leave the sticker on for a long period of time because the longer you leave it on, the harder it is to peel off. So you wanna put it down, color, and peel it up. Don't go to sleep, don't go to shopping. You know, this is a short-term project. But notice how I peeled my sticker back up and if you really want to, you can save this. Put it back on a carrier or a Teflon sheet and you can save it for later. Um, but you can peel it up and I have now another look to my sticker. So here's what I wanted to show you. This is using one of our very popular stickers. And what we did is this particular project, we colored and left the sticker on. This particular project, we did the same colors and peeled the sticker off. All right, left the sticker on, peeled the sticker off. How cool is that? Absolutely gorgeous. Now notice on here too, she did color coordinate the stickers. This was made by Sharon, one of our designers. Great job, Sharon. But what a neat technique with the, with the glitter film. And what's really cool about your Copics, you're gonna see that through the color will come the sparkle of the background of the glitter film when you color it. So that's really, really cool. All right, so that is another way to use the sticker, the, the glitter film. We have a whole line of stickers on our website. When you put your sticker on, um, take your glitter film piece, and this is one of our newer potted frames. Peel up your sticker. And they, all these stickers are really cool because they really look delicate, and they are to a point, but yet at the same time, they are really easy to work with. So I'm gonna just take my glitter film layer that I've cut approximately the size. I like to trim things up later, so I don't worry about making it exactly the same size. 
and layer my sticker on. Press it down. And then I can come in and I can color. And again, when you color, uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a pink here for some pink roses. I think those are roses. Again, I am not the designer. I am the owner. <laughs> now, I want to show you what I'm doing here is if I have my Copic blender, I can come in and actually pick color up, move it around, blend it with the blender. Take your alcohol base. If you're working with alcohol based um, markers, take your alcohol base and you can actually pick up some of that color and color it elsewhere if you want and just make lighter areas. Now it's a little tricky doing this technique. It takes a little practice. Some people absolutely love it. Some people absolutely, yeah, don't love it. But I like it because see how I can make those areas look just a little bit more, what shall we say, lifelike, but also shaded. Okay. And I can place that color elsewhere if I want to. So something to, to play with. If you like that technique, great. If you don't, just color it. Um, you don't have to use your blender, but you can move that color around, pick it up, clean it off before you go to your next color. All right. If you're going to do other colors on that same piece, Make sure you clean that up before you move, or you will have a pink blue or a pink yellow. So another way to use the glitter film is with the outline stickers. We also have on our website in that department, especially with our medallions, we have a line of medallions that are just fabulous. This is a medallion sticker. Um, we have a line of medallion stickers. Check it out. You can get them as sheets, but you can also get them in kits. And this is a eight card kit, comes with the glitter film, your stickers, your cards, your frames, and instructions, of course. Um, again, we have videos on our website, check it out. Watch some of those for your added inspiration. And if you need some more technique and product information, you can check that out on there as well. All right, so that has been glitter film. It has been wonderful showing you our product. We are super excited as we enter another year. And we are hoping that um, you'll come and check us out at www.stamponit.net. We have a YouTube channel. Please follow us and like us. We have a Facebook. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I do not do our Facebook justice, but we have a absolutely phenomenal email list. And if you sign up on our email list, we do not sell it. We do not share it. It is protected information and we will not inundate you with a ton of emails. We send out occasional, maybe one, maybe two a week sometimes, but um, specials, uh, discounts, show specials, things like that. Speaking of that, if you use the special, and I should have put this on a piece of cardstock, home vid June, home vid June. You will get 20% off our site, our entire website. We have thousands and thousands of items to look at. Home vid June, 20% off. Check us out online. Um, we have free shipping when your order is over $50. And most of our orders go out within five to seven business days. If it's going to be longer than that, we will let you know. So you won't be wondering where your order is. Hopefully we keep up with that. But we would love to see you. And thanks for watching. We so appreciate it. Have a most blessed day.